Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Gigi. Welcome, Welcome to In Tune. Tune. For many years, street performers have continuously brought liveliness to the sidewalks of downtown Northampton. This week, we wanted to get insight on how these musicians make a living while pursuing their passion. So my name is Ben Weatherby, um, and I've been playing music in this area since uh, like February of last year. The enjoyable quality about downtown Northampton uh, would be that there's already kind of a thriving art scene within the town itself, so I like, I like to set up right next to this art studio right here, or in this art gallery right here. Yeah, I have encountered a few struggles. There was one day, this guy came to, to play, he wanted to play like guitar with me, and he set up kind of near one of the shops, and a different shop owner came out and gave him kind of this really like heavy spiel about how you're not supposed to set up by the building. You have to have your permit available and everything, which as far as I'm concerned, the only people that are concerned about that are, are police officers. It's very rare that a permit for a street performer or street musician is taken away. Uh, but every once in a very rare while, it does happen. There are rules that the street performers must abide by. The rules are actually written on the back of the permit itself. Anyone who's interested in obtaining a street permit should go to the Department of Public Works on Locust Street. They walk in, they request the permit, they pay a $25 fee to the DPW. The DPW signs off on the permit, the person brings the permit to the police station, we sign off on it, and then they're good to go. And it's good for one calendar year. Street musicians are a key part of the downtown atmosphere, whether it's to make a living or purely for enjoyment. Always remember to support your local artists and musicians. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week.